morning guys we've got ourselves another opening day dude that is a big deer and he didn't go 30 yards oh my god <laughs> That was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Absolutely love. This is like one of our favorite spots to hunt. And um, it's incredibly dry this year. I mean, the whole state is super dry, so it's a very strange year. Normally, we like to hunt pinch points that are created by deep water. And this year, it's been a little hard to find that. So, but um, I'm sitting in a spot right now. I've had a camera up for a few weeks, and it's been getting a lot of activity. It seemed like maybe last, like a week ago, a, there was a hot doe moved into this area because all of a sudden I started getting bucks that I'd never seen before. I had like six or seven bucks moving through this camera like on a daily basis. But um, about three days ago, it sort of slowed down a little bit. And at about the same time, Danny's spot lit up and he's about six seven hundred yards away from me so it seems like he's got hot dough there he's got some stud bugs hanging out over there so I got high hopes for him but there's still a couple hanging out here there's one real nice eight point that I would really really love to get a crack at I'm uh, about 12 yards off the ground I just ranged the ground and about 30 36 feet something like that so it's kind of Kind of a little higher than I intended to go, but it's good though. It keeps my keeps my scent off the ground. Lets them get into bow range. So anyway, I'm gonna go quiet. Hopefully we get some action. Make sure that you subscribe and like this video. Like a week ago, tons of bucks moving through here. And I think what it was is that there was a hot doe in the area. And uh, she seems to have moved on. After I get down, I'm gonna go cruise around and scout and see if I can find some fresh sign. Um, I'm gonna be able to hunt after work uh, this week. So I'm gonna try and find something else I can do because I don't wanna just keep sitting here if there's no fresh sign. What's up guys? All right, so it is Monday right after opening weekend. Opening weekend was kind of lame for us, uh, but we're, we're gonna hit it hard throughout the week. We live close by, so we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be in here after work as many times as we can, hopefully until we can knock down a buck. Um, it's a little late. It's 4.45 right now, so I'm only going to get a couple hours in a tree. Um, I'm going in totally random. Uh, I, I, well, not totally random. I went and scouted a little bit yesterday after I got down. I found this area that had lots of fresh tracks. Uh, we had some pretty heavy rain this morning, so tracks should be wiped clean. Um, and I'm basically, I'm just going to ride my bike in and uh, look on the, the white sand buggy trails. Um, 
can see if I can spot any fresh tracks. And if I see some fresh tracks, I'm just gonna pick a tree and set up and hope for the best. So I'm gonna hustle out there. I'll see you guys up in the tree. set up now it's a little later than i'd like to be out here but we still got most of prime time it's 5 45 shooting light ends at um like 8 15 so i still got two and a half hours and uh i'm really liking this spot that i picked out it's it's a pinch point and there's like a bedding area to my north um it's Unfortunately, my wind is blowing in that direction, but I'm high enough that my best shooting trail on this side is like 15 yards. My wind should go right over the top of that, so if they come walking down, I should get a good chance here. Then to my left, I have, there's a buggy trail in here, um, and it's covered in tracks, absolutely covered. Um, so if they come if they come walking down that trail, they are in trouble because the wind is perfect for me to take my time and, and get a good shot on this side. Um, and then there's another trail about 50 yards away. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be shooting at that, but uh, I'll at least see if they're traveling along that. So I'm, I'm surrounded by cocoa plums and cocoa plums are ripe right now. So. The, the does should be in here feeding on these things. That's probably why there's so many tracks. So There's also a ton of hog tracks, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited for this set. I've been wanting to come back here for a long time. I'm a long ways in, but I just haven't been able to get back here in previous years because it's usually so wet and several miles in but with the e-bike when it's dry i'm able to get back here so this is pretty exciting new place to hunt I'm really liking the setup so let's see what happens saying there's a bedding area up that way well that little buck just came out of that bedding area um unfortunately he was like directly downwind so he caught my wind pretty quick but honestly i'm not too worried about it because um i wasn't gonna shoot him anyway he was a little spike but they're on the move so head on a swivel
called an Uber, came to bring this big old hog out. Can't miss out on the good tips. <laughs> good tippers. <laughs> no, that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs>